What the fine f is that? Hey guys, before the video continues, if you're new here or been here for a while, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to help support me in future videos. Take it away, dude. Well, ask and you shall receive. This has always been the case. Every single time I take the Lord name in vain, he uploads. Every single time. So, I'm just gonna watch today's video. Top 10 scariest ghost videos of the month. Let's see what Daddy Nuke is cooking up in today's video. Late one night in Mexico City, a concerned woman calls the local police saying that she hears strange unexplained noises coming from her son's apartment just above her. The problem okay. is her son is out of town and the apartment should be empty. The police quickly arrive on the scene, but they don't find anyone inside. No robber, no trespasser. However, the officers do hear strange noises like banging and the low murmur of voices. They are concerned that someone might be hiding inside the residence. So get a grenade. the officers radio headquarters and ask that a nearby public CCTV camera be focused on the windows of the upstairs apartment. What the camera captures is downright chilling. Oh. Six, three people. The CCTV camera captures the ghostly figures of three children looking yep. out the window as the police leave. The apartment building's longtime security guard claims that every 10 years this same strange phenomenon happens and no one every knows 10 how years? or why. He says that no children have ever lived in that apartment, so he has no idea who or what this might be. To this day, the footage remains a mystery. Wisman's Wood. It's a dark and rainy day when a teenager and his two younger sisters set out to explore the haunted Wisman's Wood in Devon, England. Local legend says that the haunted forest was once considered sacred ground by the ancient Druids and that any hiker should stay away from the woods at night or during bad weather. The three siblings have been walking for about an hour when the older brother decides to make a short video complaining about the rain. What happens next is truly bizarre. Okay. Walking for like an hour now. It is f***ing it down. In the background. Two are don't doing my head in. It's I getting dark. Why, Mom? Step the really well, I'm actually, I have no idea where the dog I is. Just what? Why would you go? Did you see it? No. A dark, eerie figure seems to be staring at them before quickly disappearing out of ah. sight. The video was posted to YouTube by a friend of the family who believes they might have caught some sort of paranormal sighting in Wisman's Wood. I would have not a happy seen that. Year. I don't know. I would have never seen that. Even if I was reviewing the video, I would have skipped right past that, honestly. Maybe if the two kids shut the fuck up, maybe he could have heard rustling behind him. Or same thing, maybe, maybe the kid, this guy right here, shut the fuck up. Maybe he would have heard the person ducking behind the ground and behind the scenes in the ground, to the ground. And a happy new year. And a happy and new year. Celebrating new Year's Eve with her mother when something happens that they simply can't explain. <laughs> One, two, three, straight up. Oh. All right, ready? I'm gonna get to the One, door. Two, three. <laughs> oh! I can get it. Twist it. Grab the dick and twist it! Oh. Okay. Chills. Oh. 
they oh are fa faber okay. flabbergasted no it is worse but we just haven't that has not i have i've twisted it that has not worked that's my dad's snow globe like we designated that to like be my dad <laughs> Sav's father passed away nearly a year and a half ago and the family displays his snow globe to remember him. As Sav says that the puppy in the globe actually looks a lot like her dad. Ah. However, the snow globe hasn't worked for a long time. But just as Sav and her mother pop confetti to celebrate the new year, the globe inexplicably starts playing We Wish You a Merry Christmas, beginning right at the part of the song that contains the line, and a happy new year. That is insane. Sav believes that it was a sign from her father that he's still there and he's still watching over them. Woo. That is insane. Imagine the amount of emotional roller coasters they went through in that moment. It wasn't working. And it decided to work in the moment where it leads up to the and a happy new year. Wow, that's wow. Those are things that with me as a skeptic, I don't I don't even touch that with the yeah, I don't even want to touch that kind of stuff or even try to like break it apart. That's just sentimental. And I'll be a douche or an asshole if I say, well, maybe this, maybe that. No, at the, at the end of the day, that's something they want to see. That's something they want to hear. And I'm just going to let it be. I'm just going to say it's true. Despite me being a skeptic and me don't, not believing in the afterlife. That's true. Just for their sake. That's true. The Watcher in the Woods. A guy named Ryan lives with his mom and little sister out in the remote woods of the Washita Mountains in Oklahoma. Washita? One day at okay. around 5 p.m., Ryan is outside shoving a Christmas tree into the trunk of his car, mm. as you do, when his security camera captures something truly unnerving. A, a fake Christmas tree or a legit Christmas tree? Just bent down and disappeared. Someone or something seems to walk through the woods towards Ryan, then bend over and just kind of disappear into thin air. Ryan says that he didn't see or hear anyone at the time, and after viewing the footage, the family is concerned that a stranger might have been trespassing on their land. But obviously, they can't explain how this person could have just disappeared. disappeared. So is this something paranormal caught on camera? Or is it something even scarier? A stranger hiding in the remote woods near a family's home. Ken Walker. Ken Walker. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Not out of the woods. Belgian yes. urban explorer and vlogger Siez sits out on a trip to a large abandoned campsite in Belgium with three of his friends. Belgium. The group arrives at the campsite after dark and begins exploring. Now Siez has visited the same abandoned campgrounds three times, but as the group walks Great. down a dark wooded path, he spots something that wasn't there before. Uh -oh. Here's the ingang, the port. Boat. Privat, this is a place of gebed. You love our room to respect. Gebed. En daar staat op, pas op, waken. Ja, ik ben hier heel lang geleden eens geweest en stond hier vol met bungalows, met campings, met caravans, mobile homes, midden in het bos, allemaal verspreid, super vet. En ineens is hier een waakhond. Maar dat is gewoon een tak. Ja, ja, dat hebben ze hier gewoon zelf gemaakt. Kijk, dat is een hip, dat, maar dat is hier gewoon een zigeunerkamp of een, of een hippie camping of zo geworden. Hallo? Maak het een voetstap. Ik hoor van alles hier. Dit is zo fucking eng. Oh. Maat. Hallo? Mogen wij hier binnenkomen? 
So the guys are a little creeped out by the makeshift signs and barrier. They decide to just play it safe and walk away, taking an official public path back through the woods. But it turns out that they are not safe at all because things are about to take a okay. terrifying I was going to say, why people tend to just be the, in the opposite shit. You see Senna says, do not cross? Like, I'm going cross it. Das ist nicht mein Auto oder so, oder? Hier wird letztlich jemand gemacht. Hier wird letztlich jemand gemacht in der Bosse. Das ist ihr Hallo? 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 Was ist das? Was ist das? Ist das ein Knife in ihrer Hand? I swear I saw a knife on her hand. The events are like something right out of a horror movie as Sias and his friends hear loud screaming coming from somewhere in the dark woods. Then a tall woman dressed in a white robe and wearing white face paint comes lumbering out of the forest, brandishing a hatchet. She charges at the group and they make a run for it. Sias gets separated from his friends and hides in the dark woods. Bro, I'm not even looking. I'm. This is giving me anxiety. Hello. Hello. You need to go. Come on, should be feels now. CS hears loud noises coming from the direction of his car, and he's worried that there might be more than one person out searching for them in the woods. He decides to just hide in the darkness until the police arrive. What is going on? Now, even though the woman charged at the guys with a hatchet, even though she ripped the license plate off Sia's car, and even though she's uncooperative with the police, no arrest is made and the woman is let go with a warning. What? Which kind of makes me wonder if they have laws in Belgium. Because, it's, what? Uh, yeah. But anyway. This whole crazy story got picked up by Belgium National News. De Hasselse vlogger Sias heeft afgelopen donderdag de schrik van zijn leven beleefd. It turns out that the 42-year-old woman has been living at the old campsite illegally, and local authorities have been trying to build a case to have her removed. Nearby residents say that they don't feel safe walking in or even near the woods. 
You can watch the entire video of this creepy experience over on CS's YouTube channel. That, that is just mind blowing. That is just insane that you could in Belgium, you could just run up to somebody with a hatchet, resist arrest and even tamper with somebody else's car, removing their license plates, most likely meaning, hey, hatchet, you remove the license plates. They takes away the identity of the car, which will be harder to tie it back to the owner. Obviously got a VIN number, but this is Belgium. Not sure how they do it. Not sure that has the same process. If they are smart enough, after they've done what they did, you would get rid of the VIN. So she basically tampered with evidence, chased them with a hatchet, lives in a place illegally, and resisted arrest. But she says free. God damn. Puppy Poltergeist. Ready user Last Mammoth 895 from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is away at work. His okay. home security camera records as his dogs Frank and Mac are resting in the living room. Okay. What happens next is truly bizarre. Frank and Max suddenly get spooked by something and a closet door opens by itself. Uh -uh. Reddit user Last Mammoth 895 looks back at the security footage. He makes a chilling discovery. Just before the closet door opens, an unexplained voice seems to yeah, whisper. Yeah, I heard that little voice. Hiya. 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 I heard that. Last Mammoth 895 says that he has always been skeptical of the supernatural, but he has no explanation for what happened here. So what do you think? Is this something paranormal or is it just some dogs randomly freaking out in some strange noise that sounds like a whisper? You decide. I hide. I, I got nothing. I got zero. Nothing. Nada. Zilch. Noodle. I don't have any explanations or reasoning for what the hell just happened so i'm gonna leave it at that someone said hiya and want to pet that dog uh that's my story i'm sticking to it hide and seek hiya this next creepy and seek. video a babysitter is looking after a five-year-old girl while her mother is traveling out of town everything seems to be going well until the little girl tells the babysitter a very strange secret oh. about her favorite doll okay what you doing over there <laughs> nice. Um, what was it that you told me earlier about your doll? When I, when I have a chance with my doll, it moves. You said it moves? Yeah. Go ahead. That doll? This doll? Yeah. It... You said it moves? Yeah. Like you move it or? Wait, what? When does it move? When you put hide and seek order. When you put uh, hide and seek? That, the eyes. Bro. The five-year-old claims that the doll actually moves on its own when she plays hide and seek with it. The babysitter is a bit creeped out. Uh, I would be like, his morbid curiosity <laughs> gets the better of him. That's cut G. He decides oh. to test the doll himself. It did not go well. Uh -oh. We're playing hide and seek. This is what you need. Oh yeah, I remember this. Hey, look at you guys, because I, I know what's gonna happen. Oh my god. Sandy, <laughs> you scared me. Don't do that, dude.
Now the doll doesn't move, but the family dog Sadie gives him a good jump scare nonetheless. <laughs> However, the dog's playful demeanor soon changes and she begins to behave very strangely. The dog has been staring at the doll. Two later that same night, the five-year-old girl is now fast asleep in bed upstairs and the babysitter is watching TV on the couch. He suddenly hears something that sends a chill down his spine. If I had a dog growling at something, I'd burn it, destroy it. A toy is playing music from the other room, and when the babysitter walks over to check it out, he is shocked to see the doll move by itself. Now, unfortunately, as usual these days, these videos were posted to TikTok without a source, so I have no idea what happened next. The story of the creepy moving doll remains a mystery. Caught on trail cam. And now for something a bit different, as in this next video, something very strange is captured on a remote trail camera. Okay. Stick bug. Not looking, but it's a stick bug. What the fine fuck is that? What the fuck is that? A humanoid figure on all fours can be seen slowly moving through the woods in the dark of night. What makes the footage so unsettling is just how thin and pale the figure appears to be. And when it looks at the camera, glowing eyes. So is this a creature caught on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I even know what to do with that. The Old Ritz Theater. Paranormal investigator Steve Cutter reached out to us about his recent investigations with Broken Wings Paranormal at the Ritz Theater in Tooele, Utah. The movie house opened in 1939 and is said to be extremely haunted. Steve believes that the group may have caught evidence of paranormal activity inside the theater. Just as we begin our portal session, you can clearly see we are all in the room. LaDawn is sitting in the back of the theater. Watch the doorway on the right side in the back of the theater. You will see an apparition walk towards the back. Okay, right and side. then just a few seconds later, you see oh. the same apparition walk back. This cannot be a person because as you can see in this still, a person has full features even in the back of the theater. Amazingly enough, this was captured on both of the DVR cameras. <laughs> Oh man. Wow. An unidentified figure can be seen walking back and forth in the hallway at the back of the theater. But that's not the only strange thing that the group captures on camera. Broken Wings paranormal investigator Erica has a very creepy experience in the theater's projection room. You need to answer us. I've told the best boy. Oh my god, something just stroked my god ear. Are you sure you didn't hit that extension cord? No. Erica's hair moves by itself, almost as if touched by something we can't see. Later, the Broken Wings Paranormal Group join together in the theater as they try to contact any spirits that might inhabit the old auditorium. Okay. That's when a static camera captures another truly bizarre event. You want to tell me your name? Suzanne. This one, the chair is gonna go. Pop, pop. I feel things starting to come into the theater, almost like a show is about to start, and there's stuff like starting to shuffle into the theater. It might be residual, but it feels like there's stuff starting to come down the aisles and fill into the seats. I don't see a goddamn thing. Especially on this side, right here on the right. Over here. You're there, you're gonna watch Brad. 
another unidentified figure can be seen slowly walking through the aisle towards the investigators before it simply disappears into thin air. So with all these creepy captures, could it be that the Ritz Theater is truly haunted? Let yeah. me know what you think. Maybe you can watch this entire happen, investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel, Broken Wings Paranormal. The Dark Before Dawn. It's 5.20 in the morning when Nuke's top five viewer Dead Paul Lynch daylight. leaves his home in North Hampshire, England to go to work. But as he heads out the door, this happens. Yeah, I would have got my car and he's like, no, someone nearby can be heard casually saying morning, mate, but there's no one there. Morning. Morning. Now, Paul automatically responds to the mysterious nearby greeting, but he's confused when he looks around and sees no one, no neighbors, no strangers walking their dog, just no one. Paul and his family have had some paranormal experiences in the past and wonder if they accidentally captured a ghostly voice on their doorbell Just camera. Just fucking move. Just all you gotta do. What do you think? Move. Morning. Morning, man. Thanks for- I heard morning, man. I hear man. Depending on the reason to live in, it might be mate. That's normal. I heard morning, man. That's what I heard. Uh, you move. You get out. You leave. You don't look back. Take your kids, take your wife, you take your dog, leave your cat, and you just dip. That's it. Just leave. Never come back. Guys, I have a question. I love these ghost videos. You guys love these ghost videos. Would you be fine if I go through all of Bizarre Bub's videos I have not even touched? From Scary Comp number one to his most recent. But I skipped through a lot of his Scary Comps. Let me know if you want me to go through the ones that I skipped. What if I actually watch the actual videos and not just like a highlighted version, like the full investigation? If so, let me know and recommend me investigations you want me to watch. On that note, if you guys enjoyed today's reaction, love your faces, and I'm out. Peace.